This is the Massive Novelties electronic auto pump with built-in interval timer. It has a charge time of 120 minutes, a run time of 120 minutes, which will last most people roughly a week, a maximum pressure of 60 kPa or 20 inches of mercury. It is compatible with any quick connect system, capable of performing intervals as short as one minute up to 10 minutes with the ability to memorize all of your settings. Let's go ahead and do a demonstration. When you receive your item during unboxing, you'll note that you will have received a USB type C charger, as well as a quick connect tube such as this. This quick connect tube is compatible with all massive novelty cylinders, as well as other major brands like Lee Love and LA Pump. Now, to begin, what we're going to do is press and hold the power button, which is the button on the far most left. This powers the device on. Once we power the device on, it will effectively have zero pressure. What we're going to do to achieve the desired pressure is press, release, and wait until the pressure builds up. Once we achieve the desired pressure, press again. Now that we've achieved the desired pressure, we can do a couple of things. We can continue to add more pressure by again pressing the power button, going up in pressure, or we can release the pressure by pressing the button in the middle, which is the quick release. So again, to demonstrate, to build up pressure, we simply press, press again. We can go up more and even more if we like. And to release, simply press the button in the middle. Now notice that the electronic auto pump <clears throat> measures in KPA, which is short for kilopascals. Kilopascals is a much more effective means of tracking the vacuum pressure because it's a smaller unit of measurement than inches of mercury. So for example, if we go to roughly 30 kilopascals, this is roughly equivalent to 10 inches of mercury. A quick and easy conversion is that one kilopascal is generally triple what one inch of mercury is. Therefore, 30 kilopascals is about 10 inches of mercury. Now, you'll notice that my prosthetic isn't exactly airtight, and that is because there are irregularities and difficulties with maintaining a seal on a prosthesis like this. So what's happening here is that this is automatically adjusting to maintain pressure. So it is actually losing pressure and automatically adjusting it on the fly. You'll notice that when you're using it on yourself, this will happen much, much less often, but it will happen to maintain a perfect uh, pressure throughout the duration of your pumping session. Now let's talk about the function that we all really came here for, and that is the interval function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my pressure. So for this demonstration, we will do 30 kilopascals or roughly 10 inches of mercury. We're then going to press and hold the smart button, which is the button on the far right. Press and hold until the smart button icon appears. And that's that thumbs up. Once you see the thumbs up, it means that it has effectively memorized this pressure and is now ready to go into interval mode. Now, what we do from here is press the smart button one more time. It is now going to enter into interval mode as indicated by this smart mode button here. It is set currently to zero minutes, which means that it's going to power up to 30 kilopascals or 10 inches of mercury, and then it's going to release immediately. Now, the way that we change this is by pressing the smart button one more time. You'll notice that under the word hold, it has zero minutes. That means that it's going to hold for zero minutes. If we want to hold for one minute, we simply press the smart button one more time. Now, what you're going to see is it will power up to roughly 30 kilopascals, and it is now going to hold for one minute. 
After one minute of time, it is going to release the pressure and then pump back up to 30 kilopascals again. Effectively, having done all of the hard work of interval pumping for you. You can do this for one minute, two minutes, all the way up to 10 minutes at a time for a maximum of 20 minutes. It will keep track of how long you have pumped in the upper right hand corner and 20 minutes is the longest that it will cycle for you. So if you would like to do the now revered interval pumping protocol, you simply set it for two minutes and let it cycle through at 20, uh, uh, 20 full minutes. And that is the interval pumping protocol. This is the ultimate in set it and forget it 